everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at TG10, the Takara version of Fall of Cybertron, Sideswipe. And, uh, you know, I, I think out of, out of all these ones that I've seen, um, you know, Vortex, uh, his really kind of gold color scheme is really striking. Well, it's equally impressive because there's a really kind of a deep um, metallic red for this Dakar version of Sideswipe, and I mean the, we'll look at it more here in a second, but the, the, just the overall detail and the color selections and everything, uh, for a remold of Jazz, um, it's actually really, um, from all the promo shots and now in hand, it just looks really kind of cool, and it keeps the overall aesthetic of how Sideswipe appeared in the game, so, um, you know, they're, like I said, it is a remold of Jazz, so there are a few differences, but uh, the core, um, you know, trademarks of Sideswipe are pretty much kept intact. So anyway, um, this is just, you know, just a little quick overview of his packaging and everything. Nothing, nothing really new there. So anyway, um, I'm anxious. Let's take this guy out and take a look at him. And here we have him out of his packaging. And I do have to say that I love all of the changes that have been applied to this mold um, since he was a remold of Jazz. And hold on here. If you take a look. One of the things that I love the most is probably this new hood. Um, it just looks kind of beefy and mean. And also, one of the other things that's changed is on Jazz, you know, he, he had the um, exhaust on his back. Well, now it's just kind of, it looks a little bit more slick and simplified. And uh, for those of you that have played the game, um, you might be noticing a lot of the little details um, that are kind of have a Tron element in the game. They've kind of highlighted those areas with this pink paint. And uh, it seems that on a lot of the Takara releases, they've been doing that lately. And um, he's coming across very pink on the camera, but but trust me, he's a very dark metallic red. Now the only places he happens to, he happens to have that is on his forearms and on his chest, and I think. Yeah, also on his back. Um, everywhere else is actually kind of a uh, just a red plastic or a black plastic, or you know, however they molded it. Um, but like I was mentioning on the details, even even though these wheels aren't functioning, they're just molded to make part of the leg. Um, they went so far as to add the detail on that. So overall, I think it looks pretty slick um, for his uh, version, and um, just really sideswipe in my opinion, is really a step up from Jazz because of all the changes that they have made. So, um, one of the things I really love is uh, if you just kind of look at that, that head, I mean, it's just spot on, so it's pretty wonderful. Now, one thing that I did notice about Sideswipe's packaging was up here on his chest, he just kind of has this simplistic court sort of gray logo. And um, one thing that I'm glad they kept in line with the game is let's see if we can get it to focus in here. You can see it's it's a fully detailed Autobot symbol, um, but because it's one of the glowing elements on his character design in the game, they use the pink paint. So anyway, you know, hey, whatever. It's it's a cool cool choice I think to emulate um, one of the very um, kind of interesting design aspects of the game to actually have it translate to a physical representation like on Sideswipe here. It's kind of cool. Now, Jazz, whenever this mold was used for him, he came with this weapon. And Sideswipe still comes with this one also. Um, it's a very, you know, I, I think, I mean, it's obviously, um, for Jazz, I think it works better because, you know, he can use simplified weapons and everything. And, you know, it doesn't look bad with Sideswipe, but um, he does come with another weapon that's unique to him. And I think it actually suits Sideswipe a lot better. And um, like Sideswipe, it shares a lot of excellent detailing. Um, I mean, this <laughs> I mean, this gun, it's crazy. The turbine, the jet back here. Um, I mean, this thing just looks pretty, you know, gnarly. So anyway, um, one of the cool things is this is a more compact version of it. In the instructions, it shows you can actually pull this out and have it uh, extend to make the longer rifle version, which in my opinion looks better. And so anyway, um, if we take a look at this while it's on Sideswipe, holding the gun two-handed, um, in my opinion, I, it looks really kind of cool. Um, and I think with it being this size, uh, probably two-handed is the better approach. 
Um, but you know, it's whatever your preference is. I mean, to you, he may look fine holding it one-handed. Uh, just to me, I think it looks better um, like this. If you look down here, um, this is the way I found that he stands best because with the gun on the front, he actually becomes very top heavy and wants to topple over. Um, but, you know, you just kind of have to get creative with the way that you make him stand if you want to have him hold it two handed like this. And this is Sideswipe. He just looks better in car mode. I'm not going to lie. Look at that. That is slick. That is sweet. And I am loving, 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 loving the deep red metallic paint. That just makes this thing pop, man. I swear. I love it. It's amazing. And you know what? Okay. The guns, <laughs> they show it being strapped on right here. That just looks ridiculous. Okay. I love the gun. It has its purpose in robot mode, not here. And yes, this is not ridiculous. You plug this in, boom, it's okay. It could pass. But you know what? It it Honestly, this car looks better like this. I mean, if you want to store them, fine. Peg them on wherever you want. But in my opinion, if you want your transformers to look cool and you don't care about storage, this is awesome. I mean, the, the vehicle mode rolls well. The overall changes they made just make it look so much faster, so much cooler. Uh, I mean, just everything about it is just such a step up. I mean, I cannot brag on it enough. Robot mode is cool. It, it is side swipe. He looks and has a lot of cues from his G1. The, in this one, they, they, they could run wild with it because this is actually pretty close to what his in-game model is. And you know what? That is just really cool to me. Again, I'm, I'm loving the, the new hood. Um, even the, the silvers, they're not too bad. Uh, they just flow really excellent with this new red. Um, the attention to detail is awesome, even again in little bits of flourishes. So, you know, overall... I give my recommendation for Sideswipe. I'm not that big of a fan of the character. I like him, but um, you know what? This this is such an amazing product right here that uh, definitely I give my my recommendation for it. So anyway, um, aside from that, if you want to see some size comparisons, um, let's go ahead and we'll put kind of. Uh, Generations false Cybertron shockwave up here, and uh, you can kind of see how how they scale with each other. Um, I don't know what the deal is. Shockwave is looking uh, humongous compared to um, Sideswipe, yet when I'm looking at it, not on the camera, um, they're closer to the same size. But here they look humongous. He looks humongous compared to Sideswipe. Uh, believe me, they're more in scale with each other. Um, obviously, you know, Shockwave is, is a little bit longer. Um, but that's weird. Visual illusion? I don't know. Anyway, uh, in kind of the same thing with Skywarp. Skywarp looks kind of huge compared to him. But overall, I mean, he, as far as, as overall, he scales pretty nice with the other um, false Cybertron deluxe line figures. So anyway, this has been the review for Transformers Generations Sideswipe. Uh, stay tuned for more reviews by Transformers Reviews.